Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome back to Lone Wolf 902. In today's video, I'm out on another solo hot tent trip. As you can see, everything is set up and it is raining. So, I do have a lake, which is about 100 yards that way. I can see the water through the trees and it is raining quite heavy out there right now. Here in the trees, it's not so bad. We are a little protected, but not very protected. So the tent's gonna be used a lot during this trip. So. I'm actually very happy it's raining. I've been looking forward to this for a little while. Now, the plan that I have is I want to do an outdoor fire pit somewhere in this area because I am going to be cooking some food outdoors. And it is directly underneath of a large spruce tree. So hopefully that'll act as a, a natural umbrella of some sort. Um, other than that, everything is inside. So I've got my wood stove in there. I've got all my cooking utensils, everything. I do have my wax canvas down on the ground right now, but I'm not going to open up my sleeping pad or my sleeping bag until later on because I'm going to be in and out of the tent and I don't want anything getting wet because it is supposed to be a wet day and a wet night. So I'm going to leave all that stuff bundled up inside of my backpack until later on tonight and then I'll set it up. But right now I do need to get some firewood ready. So I'm going to grab my saw and I'm going to go gather I can see a tree over here that's already fallen and a couple other pieces of wood off in the distance. I do need some wood for an outdoor fire because I am going to be cooking outdoors. And then I'll get some rocks from around here. There's all kinds of rocks. I'll build a little fire pit. And basically I'm going to be putting my wok over the fire and cooking. But right now, like I said, I need firewood and I want a coffee really bad. So firewood, coffee, and then we'll get doing more of the fire outdoors and then get cooking lunch.
All right, guys. So we got the fire going, and uh, it's doing really well right now. I've got it stacked full of hardwood and softwood. I've made kind of like a little roof over top so the rain's not affecting it. Uh, I chose to use flint and steel for this fire. So I do have my fire steel with me inside of the tent, but I wanted to use flint and steel for the outdoor fire because I find with flint and steel, it's often kind of pushed aside because we all bring a fire steel, but I find flint and steel, it's just, if you have a day that's wet and rainy, try it. Try it and you'll, you'll realize how frustrating it can be if you don't do it often. Now I do it very, very often. So flint and steel for me personally, I don't have an issue with it. It did fight me a little bit today because I actually had a couple raindrops land on my char cloth. So I had to keep striking and get an ember landed. Now once an ember lands on that char cloth and you blow on it, it gets so hot that it evaporates the water out of the char cloth very quickly. And then you get it inside of a piece of birch bark. Now the piece of birch bark I used was wet. So the trick with that is don't, don't introduce a lot of oxygen and a long breath. You want to kind of shorten it because you want it to bake the, the birch bark before it combusts. Because if it tries to combust too early, it's still wet, it'll go out, and then you're constantly introducing oxygen to it and you're just going to burn out your char cloth and then you're going to be back at square one again. So the trick with that is make your little burrito like I did, your little burrito type shape with your char cloth inside of it. And, uh, and then I just kind of blow on it and let it do its thing. You'll hear it snap and crackle and kind of let it bake. You want it to dry out and then really come onto it and, uh, and it should take off in a flame. So preparation is key. I had all my wood cut, split, and that stuff was bone dry inside. Even on a wet day like this, dry wood is everywhere. You just need to know how to find it and what to look for. So I'm happy with this. Now I'm not gonna do a ring of rocks. I've decided against that because it is wet and I'm, I'm worried if I get the rocks in there with the heat, they're gonna explode. So I do have one rock on the back side that I used just to kind of prop up the wood and get the bark underneath. I'm gonna keep a close eye on that one, but I'm not gonna add any more rocks. So right now I do have a couple long pieces over here that I stopped cutting. I got one in front of the camera and I think I have another one on the other side of the tent, just long pieces just sitting there. Plus the entire tent is stocked full of wood for both this fire and the wood stove for later on. So I'm not worried about wood, but I am worried about coffee because I need a coffee really bad. So I'm gonna take my walk. I'm gonna go down to the lake, get some water, come back up here, get it on the fire and make up a nice hot coffee.
All right, guys, my coffee's all made, and it is extremely good right now on a cool, wet day. You can't beat a fresh cup of coffee over the campfire. Oh, yeah. So, let's talk about my curry soup. It is not a homemade curry, it's actually a store-bought curry. My girlfriend picked me up two of these. And this one is Carolan Coconut Curry. Now, it comes with the, the whole curry sauce and the spice all in one, which is really cool. And then I also brought a little baggie with butter. And I'm gonna put a little bit of butter in my wok to cook up the shrimp, which is also in a baggie. Now, I brought these shrimp. I believe there's four or five shrimp in here. They were frozen when I came out, but it is floating at about plus one degrees right now. It is supposed to go down to freezing tonight, so all this rain might freeze to ice, who knows. But, uh, but that's what my lunch is gonna be right now. It's just gonna be the shrimp in the wok. I wanna fry those up with a bit of butter, and then I wanna add some water into the wok with the curry mix and have a nice curry soup sit right here. I might even go down to the lake and sit down there and enjoy it, or I might sit right here in front of the campfire. Who knows, but I do know it is going to be delicious. So get into this guy. And, uh, well, we don't need the instructions, do we? It's just food, right? Can't be that hard. So I'm going to take, that's really on there. So I'm going to take my spice kit, set that off to the side, set the curry off. I'm going to transport my coffee into my, uh, my titanium pot that I have in my tent. I'm going to transfer that in there so I'll have a bit to sip on a little later on. And then clean out the wok, get some more water, and get it back on. Or sorry, I'm going to cook the shrimp first, and then I'm going to go down to the lake and get some water, get it in there, and then get the curry and bring it into a soup. Oh yeah. All right guys, the curry's ready. And it is amazing. That coconut is really strong. Super good. Oh yeah. Give one of those shrimps a go. Mmm. Oh yeah. I'm definitely gonna have to do this again. This is really good. Mm. Really good. So I'm gonna hang out here. I was gonna go sit down by the lake but the rain has actually picked up again. I'm underneath this big pine tree so I'm, I'm covered but everything else is getting rained on. I put more wood on the fire to protect it so hopefully that'll kick back up in the flames in a few minutes. But for now, I'm just going to enjoy my curry.
All right, so it's been quite a while since the last time I checked in. I had my curry, that was awesome. Really, really enjoyed that. But now I got the fire going quite a bit because it is starting to rain again. So that outside fire, I'm gonna try and sit next to it as it is underneath of that tree. But right now, I'm just going through a little bit of this hardwood and splitting it down into small pieces. So when it's time to get the stove going, which might even be very, very shortly, I'll have it ready to go. So I do have some rounds that I basically saved for inside, like I was saying earlier, some of these real chunky pieces of hardwood. That's basically gonna be my nighttime wood. Uh, I do have this excellent Y piece. So if you guys can find pieces like this that got that Y in them, and they're nice and chunky, hard, solid wood, these things burn for such a long time. And even this guy here with this big knot that's in it. You guys can find pieces of wood that are really dense that have knots or Ys in them. Save them for your nighttime pieces of wood because they will burn nice and long. And, uh, and they'll put up some heat once you get your stove damped down and, and under control. So, basically, I, uh, I'm ready for nightfall right now. Now, my supper I'm going to do a little later on because that curry did fill me up. And I'm not really hungry right now. So, I'm going to save my supper for later on. I'll probably do that... It's just Mr. Noodles with some mushrooms and onions that I brought. So I could do it right here in my pot, or I could put the wok, if the wok won't fit on this stove, but I can put it on the fire and do it that way if I really want to. Or I could do it in two parts. I could do my mushrooms and onions in here, saute them, and then transfer them into my cup, and then do the noodles and then add everything back in. So. Loads of options, but right now I'm just, like I said, I'm getting this ready and then I think I'm going to reheat my coffee and I'm going to take a walk down to the lake after I get my anorak back on and uh, get the tent buttoned up a little bit and get ready for nightfall. All right guys, it has been quite a while since I went down to the lake and had my coffee. Really nice, got a nice view down there. Absolutely beautiful, beautiful misty, kind of dark and gloomy and a little bit rainy. So, as you can hear, the rain is coming down off and on hitting the tent. I've got everything set up other than my sleeping bag, which is what I'm doing right now. My wool sweater is completely dry, which is excellent. My anorak, on the other hand, is not, however, the smoky hut has a hook up top so i'm going to hang that up top and make sure it's away from the stove safely so that'll dry out within an hour or two and i'm just going to use that as a pillow as well as my wool sweater so my sleeping pad is inflated good distance in here i want to get my backpack put up at my head in once i close the door that will be an additional pillow and uh i gotta say it's it's getting warm in here really quickly i've got the fire damped down right now I actually tossed in a log while I'm waiting. So having the wood stove inside of the tent is gonna do two things. It's gonna be warm 
and it's going to cut all of the dampness, all the moisture. It's going to dry everything out really nicely and it'll all go up out the top vents. So this is basically me for the rest of the night. I do have my noodles in here, so I'm going to be cooking later on and uh, I have some water in my pot as well. So this is basically it. I'm pretty comfortable right now. I do have one movie that I want to watch on my phone. I have saved. So I'm going to watch that and I'm going to enjoy my evening. So I'm going to say good night to you guys and I'll catch you guys early in the morning. Good night guys. Good morning guys it is a very early morning right now I got a I got a friend a little visitor as you can see he's coming in a little closer I have a pack of candy and in that pack of candy are some non salted almonds we'll place two of them right there 
Yeah, let's do let's do four. Let's do four little pieces right here. I've got enough food. I don't need all of this. So we'll share some with our little friend here. He's a little red squirrel. So he's been bouncing around here. And I seen him yesterday and uh, he seemed quite friendly. He didn't be he, he wasn't really bothered by me that, that I was here, so he was actually inside of the tent last night. Uh, it was pouring with rain, so he came inside and I let him stay inside. Here he comes right now. Look at this little guy. Look at him. <laughs> uh oh. I hear competition. Alright, so I have a friend. So I got my oatmeal and my coffee and I'm just going to enjoy this for a little bit. I did refill my mocha pot again so I might as well get that on there and get another coffee going. Um, my little friend here decided to stick his face in my cup so I'm not too keen on drinking the rest of the coffee. Uh, I <laughs> I took a sip out of it and then I remembered that, oh, his face was in it, so I kind of stopped. But anyways, we are going to enjoy our breakfast and it is getting quite warm inside of this tent right now. That stove's pumping out heat. It, like I said last night, it poured with rain and I I had that damped down and I almost, I, I almost cracked the door open because it was really hot in here, but it was dry. Dry enough for this little rascal to come in. Your food's right here, bud. No, oh, man, look. What are you doing? Hey. Anyways, he's gonna poke around here for a little bit. Last night, he actually ran across my face twice. So I had to pull my hat down on my face so he didn't scratch me or anything. But uh, oh, he seems like a pretty, pretty curious, friendly guy. Hi. I don't like when he makes eye contact with me, though. It makes a feel like he's gonna jump from my face. No, look that way. It's right here. Right there. Alright guys, so breakfast time with my little friend here and coffee and then it's gonna be basically time to start packing some things up. And uh, here he comes crawling on my leg. Don't go near that stove. Woo! He just ran right underneath of the stove and I'm pretty sure his tail got singed a little bit. <laughs> Uh, all right, so like I said, it did pour with rain last night. It was nice and dry in here. He stayed the night in here. I stayed the night in here. It's oatmeal time. Oh, yeah. Mmm. I don't care how much you cry, you are not having any oatmeal. No. Come get your pretzels and your almonds. He wants oatmeal. I'm not giving him any oatmeal. That's where I draw the line. The line. No oatmeal. You back talk me all you want, you're not getting any oatmeal. No. See what I have to deal with? Look at this little guy. Why? 
What? You are not having any oatmeal. And you are not having any coffee. You can have non-salted almonds, which are good for you. Don't pop my sleeping pad. I'll be very angry. He just pooped on my sleeping bag. Rusty, you're a bad boy. All right, here is round two, fresh mocha, or fresh coffee right out of the mocha pot. If you guys don't have a mocha pot, this little guy I bought off of Amazon, and the brand is Imusa, I-M-U-S-A. I think it was only like seven or like maybe $10, I can't remember, but I purchased this and I love this thing so much. It makes one cup, I'm going to buy a two or possibly a three cup. I haven't settled on which one. I'm leaning more towards a three cup for uh, for me for like mornings like this where I want a little bit more stronger coffee. I can have more. And you can get the flavored coffee as well. So if you get hazelnut coffee, sometimes I do one spoonful of hazelnut and then the rest with regular coffee and it comes out amazing. So my little friend is still here. Uh, I named him Rusty. What do you guys think of that? Let me know in the comment section if you guys would have given him a name and what the name would have been. I named him Rusty because he's Rusty Orange. And you're not getting my oatmeal. No, I already said. Look at this. I, I don't even know what to say right now. I'm being harassed by a squirrel. Hey, hey, get out of that. No, no, leave the lid on. I'm being harassed by a squirrel named Rusty. Look at him, look at this. He's been in my food, he's been in my tent the whole night, now he's trying to get in my oatmeal. Where's my spoon? Okay, good, I got my spoon in my pocket so he can't rummage through that. So, he is a hungry little guy. I might have a few more snacks for you, Rusty. Come here, come here. Look, I got some more. That's it, man. You're cut off after this. So, <laughs> I thought last night was going to be a nice quiet evening by my lonesome self in my tent. And apparently squirrels like shacking up with lone wolves. Not something that I was really expecting, but it was nice to have the company. It poured with rain, guys. It was so, I'm, I'm soaked right now. Like my knees are soaked from filming and, and rolling around here and whatnot. Uh, it, was, it was awesome though, last night. The sound of the rain. I had one drop of rain hit the top of the stove. One, the entire night. That stove jack, the way I have the flap rolled up, it just redirects the rain. But I had one hit the, the stove and just and it was gone, so. Pretty cool, there was a little bit of light rumble of thunder. And uh, it, 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 it was light, it was light. It was the strangest thing. It was, the tent is white, so automatically it's going to be bright inside at nighttime. And I've been in here with the full moon and it be like daylight, like literally daylight. So, but it was cloudy and, and it was raining, so there was no moon out. But it just seemed like there was a moon out and it was just, it was bright in here. And that's how I could see little Rusty, wherever he is, running around, bouncing all over the place and uh, yeah, it was a pretty good night though. So I've got the stove going again with a little bit more wood. I'm going to finish my coffee. I'm hopefully, now that he's gone, I might be able to take the lid off my oatmeal and sneak a few bites before he comes back. But that's the plan. I'm just gonna snack away and uh, finish up my oatmeal. And then I'm going to clean up. I'm gonna get the stove out of here quickly. I'm gonna get it emptied out. And then the tent, I'm just gonna roll up wet. I'm just gonna invert it inside out, cram it down in the stuff sack fill the pack and then it's going to be get out of here so oatmeal time now that i have a minute to do that
Okay guys, I've got basically everything packed away inside of my backpack. That was a task and a half this time. Not because of the gear, but because of Rusty. He kept going inside of my sleeping bag. I don't know where he is right now. Hopefully not inside of here. Uh, he kept going inside of my sleeping bag and I had to keep getting him out as I was packing things up and I was trying to record and back and forth. And finally he was in the bottom of my sleeping bag. So I literally had to reach into my sleeping bag with my leather glove and grab him and pull him out. Now he didn't scratch me, he didn't bite. I don't know what's up with this guy. I don't know, people must feed him a lot because this guy did not care that I had my hand on him and pulled him out of my sleeping bag gently and put him onto the ground and then he tried to go back in. So <laughs> I stopped recording and I had to just get everything packed away before he ended up inside of here. And uh, if he is in here, I will let you guys know the next episode when I open this up when I get home. <laughs> so that was pretty awesome. I, I did enjoy that. It was nice having the little, the little guy running around here. There's a tent peg. Oh, good thing I, I saw that. So it was really interesting having a, a little squirrel bouncing around, hanging out inside of the tent overnight. And uh, it was a rainy night last night. So like I was saying, I, I let him stay in there. It was pretty wet, pretty windy. And it's just a squirrel. He's not going to hurt anybody. So all in all, I had a really, really great time. I have got to get on the trail though, because it is going to start pouring down with rain eventually. It's already sprinkling. I could feel it out on the lake. I could see through the trees. It is nothing but a sheet, like a, a sheet of rain. It looks like just white drizzle. So I, I think I've got everything looking around, just making sure. I've got my wool sweater and my anorak packed inside of the bag. I'm not going to be wearing that today. Yesterday when I came out, it was cold. Today, it's not so cold. It feels like a, the beginning of fall when really it's coming into, you know, almost Christmas time. So I don't know what's going on with the weather. I come out and it's cold. I pack extra warm, bring extra clothing, and then it turns out being warm. And I know the one time I pack to be warm, it's going to be like minus 20 the entire trip and I'm going to freeze. So I'm going to continue packing warm just to stay safe. But uh, that's basically it. Uh, I'm pretty sure I've got everything here. I probably will return to this spot again just because Rusty was pretty cool. I don't know where he is right now. I can't, I can't find him. But uh, anyways, that was pretty awesome. I've got to get this pack on my back. I do have a fair hike to, to basically get back to the, the main logging road where I parked my truck. I think it was about five kilometers, four, 4.5 to five kilometers from where I am now, but I've got to make it around the back of the lake and then head out on a basically bushwhack until I get to an ATV trail and then out to the main road. So I've got everything, the fire's out, pack is loaded, time to go. So thank you guys very much for watching. I appreciate it. And if you have any questions or comments, drop it down in the comment section and I'll catch you guys in the next video.